Welcome to Ephraim Joe Scene. Today we got a new uh, we got a new story for you. This one comes to us from the Washington Post entitled "An, an Alternative Fact: South Dakota Bill Sparks Fear in the Science Education in the Trump Era." And this is yet another bill trying to basically say teachers don't have to teach what they don't like. You know, even if it's true, or they are trying to frame things like evolution and man-made climate change as scientifically controversial when they're not. They may be socially controversial, but they're not scientifically, like, at all. At this point, pretty much everyone accepts them. Like, even most Christians accept it at this point. And just a reminder, by the way, about 90% of scientists are atheists. Think about that. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying all theists are stupid. I'm just saying that the GOP's religious love, particularly fundamentalist Christianity, and their hatred for public schools, and love for things like private charter Christian schools, should be telling you something. And not only that, but it seems like you can just say anything's under religious freedom and you'll get away with it. Like the Hobby Lobby case from a few years ago, I believe. Which was basically just a company saying, I don't want to pay health insurance. Now, they said, I don't want to pay health insurance because religion. The actual answer is, I don't want to pay health insurance because money. And I'm going to excuse it as because religion and hopes idiots will support me. That's really it. And the thing is, like, another thing that, with bills like this that I've noticed, because they've been trying to pass for years. Not only that, but four bills like this have been trying to pass in South Dakota, Indiana, which was the state Mike Pence governed, Texas, and Oklahoma. Those are the four states trying to pass bills like this. In the Texas bill, it says, an important purpose of science education is to inform students about scientific else evidence and help students develop critical thinking skills necessary to become intelligent, productive, and scientifically informed citizens. The teaching of some subjects required to be taught under the certain framework developed by the State Board of Education and may cause controversy including climate change, biological evolution, and the chemical origins of life, and human cloning. Human cloning is not all that controversial. Some teachers may be unsure of expectations concerning how the present information when controversy arises concerning a scientific subject and okay there's no controversy scientifically about things like evolution and man-made climate change this article even said politically there might be and that might be due to the vice presidential debate having questions like what are your thoughts on god mark pines and tim Karin? not how will you improve the economy not what are you going to do on gun violence it's what do you think of god I talked about that in my 10 Ways to Save America video, and I still stand by that, that we need to keep a government secular, and that we also need to stop shoehorning in God questions at the presidential debate. We need to stop having presidents swear on the Bible and say, I believe God is going to help me as president, and other crap like that. Um, the protection of a teacher's academic freedom, again, you could just use the word freedom in front of anything and make it sound like a big issue is necessary to enable the teaching teacher to provide effective instructions that serve the purpose stated in subdivision one of this section. What does this mean? It means that, you know, people just want people to be dumb. They don't want to inform people about evolution. They don't want people to be informed about climate change. They want people to be dumb consumers. They want people to go to church, give their money to collection plates, and get those untaxed millions of church dollars because while kids are starving in Africa, the preacher needs a bigger house, even though his house is already bigger than any of us will even see in a lifetime because he's convinced people his message is correct. That's it. I'm Sifro Joe, and good night.